So I'm shooting this video to kind of give you an explanation on why I don't find it important in the beginning to have a lot of dogs sit and wait at the door. If you look at Bo, his intensity and his body stiff and the tensedness in his face, and he's all ready. The minute I put my hand on here, you see him just ready to, uh-uh, just trying to get out that door. So he's sitting because he thinks that's what he has to do is the physical action of sitting before we go outside. And although that's great, but he has no focus on me. He has no concern on what we're doing together. His mind is just open that door so I can go out there and see what's on the other side. And that's not really what I want. I want to work towards getting his mind in a better place of, hey, we're going outside, but you know, what's the human at the other end of the leash want to do? You know, just because we're standing at the door doesn't mean I'm actually going to open it and let him go out. See the movement forward? Like that. I should be able to open up the door and it, him be a dog to where he uses his nose, he sniffs, all the scents that come rushing in, but not be so concerned that he has to rush out right away and just kind of look to me like, hey, we going outside or not? And that's him trying to figure out what to do. So I will stand here for a while, and I will have a lot of sessions just standing here after we have a potty break or something, going in and out and opening the door. Not, nope, leave it. And see, now he, like, can't sit still. He has to do something. So the whole idea is to rest his mind, to get his mind in a calmer place. And that's going to take a lot of things. It's not going to just be this exercise at the door. It's going to be building his confidence letting him know that the world is not his platform to take care of and just let him feel more comfortable and relaxed in his environment. And you see he's working through that. So we'll just keep doing this. And essentially the goal that I'm working towards is for him to just not care that that's open and then look to me like, hey, we going outside now? And if we don't, nope, because he sees on the other side. So again, this is what we work on a lot. And I will help him along the way by giving him a little raising my hand to lift his eyes towards me or, or calling his name just so that I can start to establish and that I want that eye contact. I want him to look to me before we make our next move. There we go. And then I'll aim for, even though I got it before I opened up the door, I want it before we actually go out. Yes, let's go.